Hello. Um, I'm Kathy Dickerson. I'm Ron Dickerson. And about a little over a year ago, Ron and I moved from Southern California to Arizona. So we are um, new to Arizona. We are new members at First Baptist. Mm -hmm. And um, a little over three weeks ago, I became the new secretary slash office manager at First Baptist Church. And so I was asked to do uh, part of the devotional that we're doing, and it's it's um, Stepping Forward, which is a 39-day walk through Ephesians and written by our own our own Pastor Mike Leichenfelter. And so I have been asked to do Day 22. And the title of Day 22 is The Goal of the Gifts. And so you will you will see um, that Ephesians really, really touches on this. And so we're going to start by reading. Ephesians 4, 12 and 13. For the equipping of the saints for the work of service to build up the body of Christ until we all attend to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to the mature man, to the measure of the statue which belongs to the fullness of Christ. And so really what this is doing, we had in the in previous uh, days, we talked a lot about the gifts and the Lord gives everyone gifts and they all have value. There is none that is greater than others. But there are some that are a little bit more upfront that other people see than others, and yet they're all equally as important to the Lord. But the ones that we probably see the most are the gift of music, for instance. Uh, we have people who can sing and who do um, play musical instruments. We have others who might be more so in the background, um, but they are our teachers who teach Sunday school and children's church and others who um, or, or work the nursery. We have others who work with children on special programs like VBS. We have those that have a heart for uh, teenagers and work in the youth movement. We, there, we have people who have a heart for the unwed uh, or for the, the pregnant mom and the babies. And so all these gifts are important. And what Ephesians talks about is using those gifts, praying and, and finding out what they are and cultivating them. But it's also important that um, to grow. And in order to grow, sometimes we need to set goals. And that's what Ephesians talks about. There's actually two goals that it talks about. And the first one um, is the goal to equip Christians. And so that is done by studying the word and listening to pastor with the sermon and his teachings. And the, the more that we study the word, and pray and learn what our gifts truly are, um, and we all work together, it, it produces and creates spiritual growth. And that's what's important. And then the second goal is to build up the church. And to do that, we do that by all the different gifts working together. And by using all the gifts together, we become unified and spiritually strong. And here again, it's important that we use those gifts forever because if we stop using them, um, it actually harms the entire church body. And so we, we just need to pray and learn what our gifts are and know that everything the Lord gives us is for his glory. And so we, we will use those gifts until either the Lord calls us home or until the Lord comes back. And so with those goals, um, I guess in closing, I, I just wanted to say that it's important to ask God what those gifts are and then to grow and accomplish those goals. So I, my prayer is that all these goals work to praise and glorify our Lord. So thank you for listening and God bless. Did I set off the right one? I don't know if I did or not. Hmm. 
Can we get my Yeah, I thought here. <laughs>